to talk about wellness exams in cats and some of the things that go on during a wellness visit. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about nutrition as one of the things. This is Smokey, and he lives here with us, so he gets lots of wellness exams. Um, but I usually just start off by asking what's a typical uh, day in the life of your cat because I want to know, one, what they're eating, um, what their behavior patterns are, and their exercise routine. Um, obviously, you're not generally taking your cat out for a walk, but cats do need stimulants, they need exercise, and uh, sometimes behavior is, is part of maybe some issues that they may be experiencing, and we can help you to uh, remedy that. Certainly, what your cat is exposed to, if they're indoor or outdoor, as far as other pets in the household and other, like where you live, um, if there are other cats that they may be exposed to, we need to talk about vaccine status, if they're boarding often, um, again, vaccine status, and then certainly parasite control, both internal and external. Um, these are things that can greatly impact your, your cat's health and certainly um, their, how they feel. So I think it's a, a really important thing to address. When we discuss parasite control with, with clients, we're going to learn about all the pets in the household and what their lifestyle is to determine whether or not ticks and fleas uh, and intestinal parasites, what they're going to be exposed to and therefore what we're going to recommend for them to use. Uh, in addition, obviously, the vaccine um, protocols that we're going to use depending on the cat's lifestyle, so it will vary somewhat um, based on that. Uh, in addition, again, discussing nutrition, weight. Um, we see many kitties that are indoor that are overweight, and um, we're going to talk to you about what are the best diets and the amounts to be fed. If people have more than one cat in the household, which often they do, there may be a thin cat and an overweight cat, and how we're going to help them to figure out the best feeding plan for that. Um, and then, again, like what how to enrich a cat's environment is really important because kitties, when they live indoor and they don't have an enriched environment, it's actually a form of stress for them, which can lead to um, uh, conditions such as urinary issues and such, and we really don't want to see those things happen because they're tough. They make your kitty not feel well and they're tough uh, on you also. Um, a lot of cats have problems with inflammatory bowel disease, and when we, when we go through the full exam, we can actually palpate the abdomen. Uh, and I can feel if the cat's uh, intestines are thickened, and this gives me clues as to issues that may be going on. Listen to the heart and lungs. Uh, asthma in kitties is actually pretty pretty common, uh, and, and heart disease is actually something also that we're listening for. The, the rate of the heart and whether there's a murmur, um, uh, those are things we're listening for. Looking in the ears and the eyes, and then of course definitely addressing dental health, because dental health in kitties is a very silent disease. Um, cats are not going to tell you when they have pain in their mouth, but by looking inside the, the mouth, we're going to get a pretty good idea of what's going on inside. So those, those are just some of the many things that we cover when we do the exam and things we're going to talk about with you to make sure your cat is living uh, as healthy and as feeling as good as possible.